It feels like just yesterday when I was doing a review of last year's high sense laser TV model, the L5F. The device introduced me to the world of short throw projectors as it delivered a 100 inch viewing experience from a box positioned underneath the panel. While I enjoyed my time with the device, it did have a few flaws which Hisense plans on fixing with this new L9G model. For the most part, the device is a huge step forward compared to the previous model and makes for a definite option when looking at a large scale viewing experience on the market. When purchasing a Hisense L9G laser TV, you actually get two products. The first of which is the equipment box where all the magic happens, and the other is a 100 inch panel. Hisense will also come out and install the whole thing for you, which is pretty great too. This is a 100 inch TV. You probably don't want to put this up by yourself, because well, it is 100 inches. Hisense arranged delivery for my installation of this model, and it was a pretty smooth process. The installer came by with both products. Usually there would be two people from Hisense, but thankfully the other guy was off sick, so I actually got to step in and help. I really wanted to as well. We unboxed the giant panel which came with all the equipment including the wall mounts and the level tools. These mounts were measured out and drilled into a special stand that Hisense uses for reviews. This stand will likely be replaced by the wall in your house. The panel is then placed onto the mounts and the level tools are then used to make sure the giant board isn't sitting in a skewed position. Hisense will also then set up your laser L9G device for you. But if you're wondering what you get in the box, there are a few things. Hisense has included a set of gloves meant for the installation and handling of the product so you don't get your fingerprints all over everything. There's also some cabling which includes a power cable and a USB extender. You'll also get a wrench to tighten and loosen the feet but this can be done with your hands too. There are also some product manuals and two feet stoppers. These are used to prevent the unit from shifting around naturally while you're cleaning it. While Hisense does come and install the device, the actual unit isn't hard to set up yourself. There are various settings available and the process is quite simple. You need to center the device, launch the calibration tools and make sure the shapes are uniform while the image borders are all touching the borders of the panel. You can lift the unit slightly by fiddling with the feet but Hisense wants you to really just set this thing up and leave it there. I'm just saying that if you have to tweak stuff and recalibrate stuff, you can easily do it yourself. Once the product is set up, you can go ahead and sign in or create your own Vita account to download new apps. I didn't really need to sign into my account because most of the apps are already pre-installed, but if you want to have everything in sync, you'll need to sign in. There's a refreshing new look on this year's laser TV model in comparison to last year's one and I really do like it. It has a rounded UFO mothership vibe going on and even features some cool glitter finishes that kind of look like stars in the night sky. The front of the unit features a mesh covering where the speaker is and there's a white LED strip that shows when the unit is on. You can also turn this off manually. The sides are full of vents which makes sense because this product needs a lot of breathing room. There's also one USB port on the left hand side. Speaking of vents, before I get onto the technical aspects of this unit, I need to stress how refreshing it was to not hear the fan all day on this device. The previous L5F had a loud fan that I would hear all day. I also reviewed that unit in autumn around the cooler weather. This L9G model was reviewed in the summer heat and the fan was there but it was never a distraction. On the back you'll find the rest of the ports. These include three HDMI 2.0 ports measured at 4K 60Hz. One of the ports uses eARC. There's also an extra USB 2.0 port an optical port, audio in, two RF tuners, an ethernet port and one VGA mini jack port. Of course the main attraction here is the short bird projector prism which is located in the middle of the top of the unit. Next to it you'll also find a sensor that detects when somebody is nearby and automatically turns off the bulb to prevent eye damage. This part of the unit is where the magic happens and it features trichroma technology which in short is a triple light that produces separate light sources for each color range. Unlike the L5F which used one light source for everything, this trichroma tech makes light for red, green and blue separately. 
Hisense is the first company to use this source of light and it has a substantial benefit over the previous single source tech. It also allows the L9G to produce a more vivid color range and a brighter, more accurate image. It also helps produce a higher color gamut. In fact, this unit has a BT2020 spectrum of 107%, which is pretty impressive and the highest you can get on a TV. This tech is also the reason why the Hisense L9G can reach peak lumens of 3000. As for the projector screen panel, it is also not your typical projector board. This panel features ambient light rejection technology, also known as ALR, to deflect direct ambient light that hits the screen, which helps eliminate glare. This helps keep the image on the source as bright as possible, even in brighter rooms. It works hand in hand with the trichroma laser to make sure that everything you see on the panel is bright, vibrant and crisp, no matter what your lighting conditions are in the room. Even shining a torch on the panel when it wasn't being used showed that the light coming from the source was dimmer than what it seemed. This panel is quite remarkable in this regard. It means no reflections and even back-facing windows will affect the image quality on this projector screen. The laser system also has its own benefits over a typical projector. The bulb doesn't need to be replaced on the system and it can last longer before needing a service. Hisense says it roughly runs for 25,000 hours. That's about 4,100 days. That is to say that the Hisense L9G Laser TV does a great job delivering all sorts of content you like to watch. The unit can output 4K content without a problem and it is rated to reach 3000 lumens. Of course, measuring brightness on a short throw projector isn't the same as a TV because the light is coming from a separate source and not a backlit LED. So nits don't matter here. I got 3250 lumens when using the vivid picture setting on the unit. That's pretty impressive to be honest. What's also impressive is that the Hisense L9G can easily produce HDR content just as well as your average TV. Well, sometimes even better thanks to its peak lumen count. While it doesn't support Dolby Vision, it does produce HDR10 or HLG content and it covers the full Rec 2020 color gamut. In fact, it measures beyond the typical DCI-P3 gamut which most TVs make use of. The tech shines bright in high quality content such as streaming and gaming. I was quite impressed to see how incredible some HDR content looked, especially when dark scenes put the unit to the test. It handles its automatic contrast very well too. This means the device can adjust dark scenes and the various levels of dark objects in the scene separately. So dark content doesn't get washed out and you'll still be able to see the smaller details in these dark scenes. To make things even better, colors remained rich and vibrant across the board too. Of course, in bright content, it was gorgeous to see, but even in dark scenes, the colors were impressive. I also found that turning down the light level setting on some of the content made things look even better. Sometimes you don't have to have the light setting on the max. In fact, lower settings produced richer content. Well, in my opinion, anyway. Of course, I also tested gaming. I was pleased with the results. I measured 35 milliseconds input lag when using game mode. I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying, this is definitely higher than a TV, and yes, it is. However, this is a dedicated TV so the higher input lag was expected. This isn't ideal for those ultra competitive games but 34 milliseconds on a projector is the lowest I've seen on technology like this and it's perfectly fine for gaming. Input lag aside, I was absolutely blown away at the general performance of this device across certain games. It especially stood up when playing games like Forza Horizon 5 and Destiny, two games with incredible use of color. Everything looked fantastic, motion handling was so smooth. I switched between 30fps modes and 60fps modes and I didn't face any issues on either of them. The Hisense L9G does make use of the Vita OS in some regions. In South Africa, you'll get Vita, and it works as expected. I've honestly grown to enjoy the OS in recent months while reviewing all these other Hisense products, and the overall experience is fast and fluid. I especially like how apps remain open in the background, so it's much easier to go back to what you were doing. Lastly, we have the sound. The unit includes four four firing 40 watt speakers in it to help produce sound. Go take a quick look with him. Thank you. The house is in the upper part of town. It has a Phoenix weather vane. Understood. The overall quality was pretty great, especially considering the speakers were packed into a unit. It does get quite loud and punchy at times. The Dolby Atmos support helps create a more immersive experience especially. 
chances are if you're buying this you probably have a better home theater system but the box standard sound on this unit is quite impressive and should fill your room with loud clear sound. <laughs> Overall, the Hisense L9G Laser TV is the best short throw projector you can get on the market. It really does a fantastic job delivering bright images across almost any environment. To make things better, image quality is top notch with HDR content being vibrant and sharp. I was constantly in awe at how well the system performed. This is thanks to the Trichroma Tech and the Ambient Light Rejection Board that gets rid of mostly all the reflected light around the TV. You will pay quite a penny for this system, starting at 59,999 Rand, but if you're investing in a cinematic setup for your gaming and TV, then this is going to be a lot cheaper and versatile than some other options on the market. So those are my thoughts on the Hisense L9G Laser TV. It is quite an incredible experience and definitely something you should consider if you're looking to set up a cinema experience at home. Be sure to check out the other Hisense TV reviews I have on the channel. I recently reviewed the Hisense U6H, U7H and U8H as well as a soundbar. I'll leave links in the description below. I'll also leave links below where you can pick this laser TV up from. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and please do consider liking and subscribing for future content. Until next time, farewell.